You know, Snapchat has been, for us, an amazing story. Cosmo was a launch partner, and it really was a perfect marriage of a platform and a brand that really knows how to connect with that audience. And it took off like wildfire. Uh, we get between five and 10 million people a day on Cosmo Snapchat. And the most amazing stat is that most of them come back every day. In digital media, creating a daily habit is really hard, and that's what we've done with Cosmos Discover Channel. So there's two ways that a brand can get involved. One is through direct media, which they can buy from us, they can buy from Snapchat, no big deal. The second way is to work with us creatively to create a themed edition. Every day, a new edition gets published, and it's anywhere from 10 to 14 stories. We work with an advertiser, we work collaboratively, and we create every story for that edition to be married up to their objectives, to their themes, and then they own all the ad part, all the ad slots inside that edition. Well, L'Oreal, Nordstrom, some of the other ones that were mentioned, we've actually, we created a signature partnership structure a couple years ago. Uh, we call it our Agile relationship. And what that means is we actually staff up editorial resources to uh, create content directly in partnership with those brands. It's just an always on, year long partnership. And that is probably the deepest way we get integrated with a brand. The Rolex example was an example of our move into global. So Rolex we did a partnership with, I think it's their first branded content that they've ever really done. And certainly for the women's, on the women's side. And that's a 13 country partnership where we're creating documentary videos around notable women, uh, ambassadors of Rolex, but telling it through the L lens. And then uh, translating that into 13 languages, it's been an amazing program. Well, you know, first of all, it always starts with the audience. I think that was, going back to those old advertorials, they would take over a page in a magazine, they could put whatever they wanted there, and you know there was no, there was no obligation to really deliver something great to the audience. In digital, you know, performance wins. And so we start with the audience, what their needs are, and we work backwards from there. And you know, we celebrate our branded content partnerships. We never hide them because we feel that you know, if we're partnering with a, with a brand to create some content, we want to celebrate the authority of that brand. We want to, we and, our, and our, our, our users, our viewers want that too. They say, oh my God, Mary Claire knows a lot about hair. Tresemme knows a lot about hair. These two brands have come together to give me hairstyles. It's an amazing gift. And so if you do it right, if you celebrate the authority of the brands that you're working with and you push it out through your regular channels, the audience embraces it.